Welcome to Thoughts and Teens TV show. We are here at Wilfred Vernon Clark Memorial Fund. Today we are having a wonderful time and a discussion about how this fund was created and the reason for it. No other person to tell us but his daughter who will tell us and give us more idea of their ideology of this uh, Memorial Fund Day. Okay. Welcome to Thoughts and Teen TV show. Hi, my name is Janelle Clark. I'm the president of the Wilfred Vernon Clark Memorial Fund. And we started this fund foundation to help raise funds for engineering students that um, go to City College. We want to help Caribbean descent students. A lot of times the Caribbean students cannot qualify for scholarships. And then we created a fund to help them in their educational, to enhance their education. Okay, that's very good. So this came out after your father died. You all decided to form an organization to help youth in memory of his his work and his um, commitment to the community. What was his job? My dad was actually a civil engineer, but he helped mentor students in the inner city, especially young men. He also was a strong advocate for education. So. Um, creating this fund is something that he would have definitely been active with and been proud of. Oh, and that is very interesting because I can see around here you have a lot of um, health, health, um, health booth that will be able to tell us and give us some more information of what it's all about and what they're giving to the community and what the community can help. Can you tell us if any person out there would like to be involved with your organization, how can they be involved? Sure, we have a website, it's www.wilfredvernonclark.org. You can actually email us and um, we will definitely um, take your information. We have two events, one actually here at 167 Linden Boulevard on Ju July 23rd. It's a barbecue and then we have our annual scholarship gala at El Carib. On September 20, Sunday, September 25th, you could definitely um, come go to our website and get all the information. We r would really love for everyone to come out and support us. The 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 college people actually love our foundation, and they really need the support. So come out and support them. Be involved with this organization. It's not only. Um, his daughter is the president, but his wife also. And we will ask her some questions too and tell us about more of the organization. Ms. Clark, welcome to T Thoughts and Teens TV show. I know that you are involved, also a nurse, and you're involved with the nurses organization. And this health field symbolizes your work and also it put your husband, um, your pa your belated husband into the progressive activity that you want to do for youths and for students who may not have the opportunity but with your program it can be uh, a blessing in these guides and an opportunity for every each and every one of them yes uh, that's true my name is Janet Clark and I'm the widow of Wilfred Vernon Clark uh, my husband uh, before his passing, he was extremely active in the community and supported every good cause that was out there. So uh, with the establishment of the Wilfred Vernon Clark Memorial, uh, we would just like to continue his work. He was uh, an advocate uh, for education. Uh, he was a civil engineer. He uh, graduated from City College of New York and he also had a master's degree in engineering uh, from Manada College. Um, we intend to do continue uh, to keep his name alive and to do whatever we can to help uh, the students out there who are looking for support. Uh, we're also planning on expanding on scholarships in Guyana. Uh, we do intend to go to Guyana and to, my husband is from Buxton, Guyana, so we do intend to um, do some scholarships also there. I know that this um, 
your the memory of keeping it here it has a vast memory that yeah um, that is why you decided to have it here continually that's true uh, because uh, as a matter of fact we're standing right at the spot where uh, my husband passed uh, you know and it was sudden he died from a heart attack and uh, for this reason you know it's very important uh, that we continue to be here and to do whatever we can to um, help the community. So um, next year, I know that this will be time of our show show. I want you to um, encourage people to come out next year and to take part more in this program. Uh, definitely. As a matter of fact, uh, as of tomorrow, we are going to start uh, for next year because we want it to be bigger and better next year. I know it, this organization is not only done by you, but you have your board of directors. Can you tell us your board of directors? Uh, we do have a board of directors and we also have a committee. We have uh, Mr. and Mrs. Rowe, uh, Drs. Sonia and uh, Rupert Backus. Uh, we have um, Errol Cockfield, Jr and senior, they're also on the board. We have Mrs. Uh, Vashti Cockfield, and um, I hope I don't forget uh, anyone else. We have Barbara Warner, uh, Annette Aline, and uh, Claudette Howell. Also my family, they're um, very, very active in the organization. My brother, um, Clive Fraser, and my sister-in-law, uh, Cherie Fraser. They're very active and they're very helpful. Okay, Ms. Fraser, you have given us so much, so much information. We go wrong now to um, make our um, ask about in, interview our um, Boots directors so they can tell us what and what their program is all about. Thank you very much for being on. Okay, and thank you very much for coming. We really appreciate this. Thank you. Committee members who put all this together so that the community can enjoy the service of this organization. We have Ms. Rita Fraser. Well, thank you. Thank you for playing such an important role in what we're doing here today. And we're basically trying to give back to this community. This is such a diverse community. And for someone like myself who came here from um, Guyana, especially with the um, New York University College of Dentistry, I know how difficult it is for some of us to um, take time out to take care of our dental oral health. So I'm especially privileged and happy that the Wilfred Vernon Clark Memorial Inc. could put this health fair together, this free health fair, and we're thankful for each and every organization, Kings County Hospital and all the other organizations that are here today, take time out of their busy schedule, providing free services to this community. And for that, we are very grateful. And thank you for being here to showcase what this organization is giving back to the community. Thanks. My name is Claudette Howell, and I'm a member of the Vernon Memorial Scholarship Fund and participating in this program today to support the, uh, the patients in this community. Thank you. My name is Vashti Cockfield. And I'm glad to be um, part of this organization, um, the Vernon Clark Memorial Fund. Um, uh, Vernon was all about giving back and, um, you know, he was giving to charity. And I'm glad what we are doing here today, um, you know, giving back to the community. Well, my name is Joan Tross, and I'm especially privileged to be a part of this organization because Vernon Clark and his family are giving. And it's, preventative medicine is very important. And we, with, the, with the hope of this, we hope that we can encourage the community to take part in wellness and preventive medicine. It's very important. Thank you. I would like to thank everyone again for coming. Uh, I'd like to thank the committee for their undying support uh, over the past three and a half years. And uh, one thing that I forgot, uh, that the organization is a 5013C, so if you donate, it's tax deductible. Thank you. My name is Barbara Rowe. I'm the secretary of the organization. And this is our first venture for the health fair. And to me, it's a roaring success. And we just hope to continue next year. Thanks all the vendors, 
Thank you very much for coming out, and we hope to see you next year. Thanks to all the vendors for coming out. We appreciate it, and we hope it's going to be a bigger success next year. My name is Clyde Frazier. Today I am very thankful for all the support that we've been getting from all of these different um, health people. I want to say that um, our organization is very proud and we're happy to give back to this community and we hope that uh, the, next, the next year or the next health fair that we'll be having, it will be a much greater success. Thanks for coming and thanks for supporting us. On behalf of the, William, the Wilfred Vernon Clark Memorial Fund, we are extremely happy as committee members to extend his legacy to this community by this health fair. We greatly appreciate everybody's effort, and I would say that this is an absolute success, and we are looking forward to it next year. God bless you all. Hello, my name is George Rowe, and uh, on behalf of the Wilfred Vernon Clark Memorial Fund, I'd like to say thank you. It may seem redundant, but we cannot say thank you enough to the vendors, the participants, the members, and most of all, Mrs. Clark, for making this possible. Uh, the person who was responsible for this is Mrs. Trim and making this possible for us to let BCAT and the Brooklyn community know what we're about. As for 501C, we would like to do a lot more like this. In effect, to touch the community in more ways than one. Again, thank you all for coming out. Thank you for your hard work, uh, Mr. Stream. Thank you for making this possible. Hi, my name is Errol Cockfield. On, on behalf of all the, the board members of the Wilfred Vernon Clark Memorial Fund, I just want to say that this event today is really the, um, an example of why we're here to honor the memory of Wilfred Vernon Clark and all the hard work he did in his life, not only on the professional front, but also as a a productive member of society in this kind of health screening. We need more of this kind of work in communities to keep communities together. So these faces you see here today, these are all the people doing the hard work and honoring that memory. And we're thankful to be here and we're happy to see so many members of the community out here taking advantage of these health screenings today. So let's keep the good work going on and on and on for many more years. Okay. Well, you have heard from the um, committee members, the board members of Vernon Clark Memorial Fund, and this is something that will be ongoing. It's not only for um, the community, but it's also will be extended to Guyana and probably the Caribbean islands of other um, members are involved. And if you want to become a member, call us. Call us at BCAT and we will get you to be a member of the Vernon Clark Memorial Fund. Thank you, members, for inviting us and having us the opportunity to have you on our show. We know it will be educational, inform, inf, inf, inform, inf, informative for the community, and we hope to be with you in the next. And I know you, the widow of Mr. Vernon. Hold on. Clark, right? <laughs> okay. Person Teen TV had just had an interview with Mr. Vernon Clark. Um, memorial fund committee and his widow so we will be going around now to have some more discussion about the boots that they have here we see that we have Kings County Kings County Hospital is here and we're going to have a discussion with them talk with them and they will tell us about what their plan here what they are doing and um, I don't know who I have here but I'll hand them over the mic to each one, of them, each one of them will introduce themselves. Hello, my name is Beulah Woods. I work for Kings County Hospital for the Smoking Cessation Department. I'm here to try to advise the, the community about the consequences of smoking. Um, I'm trying to get them to know what is good for their system. We have the nicotine gum, the nicotine patches, and we have also some pamphlets here for the community. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for that information. 
Check your brush up. Let me check see your check your check your brush. Ten thousand tons, okay? Sure? I got it. You got it? You deal with it. You got it? So you know you're the take boy. We did good. We got um I'm almost finished tape. You got it. You got your truck inside? The rest of the tape we go inside. Where can I say? It's in anywhere. Where were you anywhere? at? Oh, okay, then. One of y'all play like y'all operating up. Okay, and then just make out a blank one for her and then she can sign it. Keep it up later, okay? I ain't saw you. <laughs> Patrick, don't raise it out. Let it get me in. In operation. Alright. Figure out this one for us. Yeah, just my name, right? Part. Yes. I can't see. It's right the top there. part, right here. The name. Oh my gosh, you need I'm, a lot. I'm, a, I'm the best candidate today. Where's the tape? Because I know if they got more tape. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ah. 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 Take it out. No. Okay, good. Let it. Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, fitting denture. No, no mm. crowding. Mm -hmm. uh, tongue is good. No mucosal. Group. The Sinsid Wells Group is going to be having a fundraiser. The school is celebrating a 100th year anniversary. We're trying to gather funds to take care of all the little costs in the school, replace the furniture, get them some books and things of the sort. So on June 10th, we're going to be having a fundraising party at the St. Gabriel's Golden Hall. And it's $25. So I'm trying to invite all of you who are out there, and I know you're interested in helping, and I hope that you will be able to come. It's just at the time when the weather is warm and you probably need things to do. So here is an invitation, the 100th anniversary of the St. Sid Wells Anglican School. Thank you very much. I don't smoke, but I will advise any person who smokes, get the gum and stop the smoking. It's good for your lungs. We have another nurse. I think I remember this nurse from the hospital, so <laughs> I give her the mic. Hi, my name is Edith Brown. I'm from Kings County Nursing Department. We're here doing a blood pressure screening at this health fair. And this, um, this is Ms. Abraham. Hi, I'm Abraham. I'm the nurse from Kings County. We are, as she said, we are screening for the blood pressure. We'll teach the patient how to bring down their pressure, do exercise, salt, and everything. I will be taking my blood pressure just not to check to see what, because I haven't taken it in years. So I see that they have a patient there. Um, I don't know, not a patient, a person, <laughs> if she would like to have this discussion about her blood pressure. <laughs> she is shy. <laughs> Welcome to Thoughts and... 10,000 tons, okay? Sure. Smiling faces, smiling faces, going places, and I'm going places because I will be. I'm speaking to one of the members of the Smiling Faces, and they, they will tell us what is Smiling Faces and what it's all about. Okay, Smiling Faces and Going Places is an organization associated with New York University, and what we do is we travel to different health fairs like we are today, and we're doing screenings on the local population, the adults and the children. And we bring them in and we're doing a dental screening to tell them what they need and what problems they have so that they're more cognizant of what's going on in their own mouth. Because many times people don't even think about their mouth. They don't think about their oral care. And so we're trying to give them a, a, a way of finding out. And that is a beautiful way because in my days it was pain. But now we have that we could get checked up before then and see that our cavity is intact. So what, um, what other program do you have besides the Smiling Faces Going Places? 
Well, we're associated with uh, New York University, University, the, this dental school down there, and they have all kinds of programs. They have programs for children, programs for adults. We have an implant program. We have an oral surgery program. We have anything you can do with dentistry, we take care of it down at school. So if, um, if a person would like to find you, where can they go? What, is the, what, the, what they, do they have to do? What they, so, good? All right. So what we do is we uh, have a university uh, dental clinic down at 23rd and 1st, and what we do down there is we accept uh, patients from all over the New York City area and even outside the city. And, okay. They can call the university uh, and get a, an appointment with a, uh, for a screening and x-rays and an evaluation down there, and then they'll be assigned a student doctor, and uh, the student doctor will take them through their treatments, and they'll be associated with uh, fine staff down there of uh, professional dentists that work with the students and give the very, very best care. Thank you very much for going face, going, Smiling, smiling faces, going places. My name is Edith Brown. I'm from Kings County Nursing Department. We are here doing a blood pressure screening at this health fair. And this, um, this is Ms. Abraham. Hi, I'm Abraham. I'm the nurse from Kings County. We are, as she said, we are screening for the blood pressure. We'll teach the patient how to, how to bring down their pressure, do exercise, salt, and everything. How do you like your 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 pain? You want call it pain face? I want to get yeah. up, say something. You enjoy it? Yeah. You like it? Pick up what yes. do you have? I'm what do you have? A spider. A spider. You are a spider man. Yeah. Okay. I'm <laughs> say hi to the camera. Say hi. hi. Let us see your cheeky cheek. <laughs> Tell us something about your speciality in your um. What do you call it? Body art painting? What do you call it? Sure, um, I'm BZ. I'm from April Cadabra. I'm helping out Health First today. And we're trying to get people some insurance because there's a lot of people in the world who need some insurance. And I'm just here to paint the faces so they can come on in and get their face painted for free and get some health insurance. So I could get my face painted too. You'd like I help people get Medicaid, Child Health Plus, Family Health Plus. Um, health insurance coverage. Even if you don't have any status, if the children are under the age of 19, they still may qualify for some type of coverage. So I welcome anyone who needs insurance to contact Health First. You can call 1-800-347-9592 and they will assist you with again health insurance. And the services program that we have here, we're going to talk with Miss Sandra. Oh, Sandra is going to tell us about the offer that they have for um, persons, uninsured persons, to have um, to have insurance, to have uh, medical attention for cancer, colon, mm -hmm. and pap smear. You will give us Okay, more. sure. Hi, um, my name is Sandra McDonald. I'm from the Cancer Services Program in Central Brooklyn. Uh, this is a New York State funded cancer screening program. Uh, we provide free cancer screenings to uninsured New York State residents and the undocumented uh, for women 40 and over, we offer the free cervical exam, free pap smear, and um, clinical breast exam, and a mammogram. And for men and women 50 and over, we offer uh, free cancer screening for colon cancer screening. Okay. Thank you, Sandra. You will be seeing me there. All right. Thank you. Okay. It's all about. My name is Betty Jung. I am from SUNY Downstate Medical Center. I work in the division of the Center for Community Health Promotion and Wellness. We do a lot of community health promotion programs from health fairs to community health lectures and support groups. And uh, we have a lot of initiatives to bring a lot of these programs into the community because a lot of the community members need to be educated and basic free screenings um, to really tell them and become aware that high blood pressure and diabetes is really a, a big problem um, here in this community. We offer other screenings such as asthma screening and we also have a um, 1.1 million dollar grant which is called the Cancer Services Program from SUNY, SUNY Downstate Medical Center that offers people who have no health insurance a uh, free mammogram, free colon cancer tests, and free pap tests um, if they meet the criteria or eligibility, eligibility criteria. So we're very happy to be here at this health fair to offer some of these services so that people can become aware that we have free services, basic services for them to become aware of their health. Thank you very much. What's your name? 
I'm Betty Chung. I'm a registered nurse. I thank you, Ms. Chung, for being on um, Thoughts and Things TV show. I know your information is very informative and is a help to the community. And in case that other organization or other um, community would like to have you, how can they reach you? They can actually call us at 718-270-8846 or 718-270-3739. Thank you very much.